Welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at Cat Stevens 1971 album Teaser and the Fire Cat. This was Cat Stevens third album in two years. It's a very fertile period for him in the early 70s. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at three editions. We're going to look at the two CD Deluxe Edition which I'm holding in my hands. We're going to look at the slimmed down Super Deluxe Edition which contains four CDs and a Blu-ray. And then we're going to look at the full fat Super Deluxe Edition, which has a couple of vinyl records in addition to the content from the other Super Deluxe Edition, plus some extra stuff as well. So we'll, we're going to go through three formats. But I have to say, this two CD set is beautifully presented. I mean, it's um, very high quality case bound book. The print quality here is very good. It's got that kind of textured sleeve. The artwork here has a kind of gloss finish to it. It's actually a bit taller than a normal CD, but it does fit into my CD racks anyway, so I think you should be all right with this one. It comes with this backing sheet here, which tells you what's on it. What we've got basically is the 50th anniversary remaster, because this is being reissued like the previous two albums, because it's 50 years old. And then a second disc of demos, alternate versions, and live recordings, which is reasonably generous. There's 13 extra tracks there so as you might expect because this is in the book format there's the sticker from the front you get quite a good little book here which has information and lyrics to each song on the album with the illustrations which of course were done by cat stevens and then at the back here there's a bit of information about the uh, demo recordings and pictures of tape boxes and this is where the two discs reside. So, so that's the album proper. And then that's the CD with the bonus material. So what you don't get with this particular package, you don't get any notes, any historical information, um, but you do get the two discs and the lyrics and the notes about each song. And it's very well presented. And I think this is pretty good value. Now then, what's really interesting about this particular reissue is um, there's the age old complaint that people put forward about some of these big massive deluxe super deluxe box sets and that is when they mix vinyl and cds together so if you don't like if you don't play vinyl you haven't got a turntable you have no interest in vinyl then it can get a bit annoying when you're having to pay hundreds of pounds for a box set that has quite a lot of vinyl content in it what universal music have done here which is quite clever I think and I'm surprised more people don't do it maybe they will now more labels will do this but they've created a kind of interim super deluxe which doesn't have some of the bells and whistles of the big set it doesn't it omits two vinyl records it omits a seven inch single it leaves out a book but crucially it does cover the bulk of the contents you've got in this set here you've got four CDs and you've got blu-ray comes with this OB strip at the side which is quite a nice touch and it's still a large format set it has you know good finish quality to it attention to detail and all the rest of it but you're just not getting any vinyl with this so let's take a look at the contents it's quite straightforward this actually there's um we'll start off here this is a, a kind of folio which opens up and gives you the five discs, which are the four CDs and the Blu-ray. Now, disc number one is the album, remastered. So if you're wondering why there isn't a new mix of this album, it's because apparently the master tapes are lost. So unlike the previous two Super Deluxe editions, there is no new mix version of this record because it's impossible to do without the multi-track tapes. So we have to make do with um, a remaster, and that's what we get on this CD. So it's the, it's the album remastered. CD number two is a CD of bonus tracks, uh, demos, alternate versions, etc. Now this isn't the same as the CD on the two CD set you might think it's going to be, but it isn't. It has 17 tracks instead of 13, so you do get some extra tracks on this. It's worth bearing in mind. So that's the CD of demos and bonus material. The third disc is called Live On Air UK 1970 to 1971. So this is a collection of radio sessions and in concert type performances. There's old grey whistle tests on here. 
there's things from Yorkshire TV. You know, it's, it's a really interesting collection of um, performances uh, from both radio and television. That's that CD, that CD3. 20 tracks on that particular disc. And then the final CD in this set, CD4, is Cat Stevens Live at Montreux in Switzerland, which on the 2nd of May 1971. And this is a sort of 12 track recording. I mean, his material was so rich and so good at this time. It's a brilliant set, this. That's that CD there. And then the fifth disc is the Blu-ray in the Super Deluxe Edition. Now, um, this doesn't contain a 5.1 mix of the album, and it couldn't anyway because they haven't got the multi-track tapes. But they haven't been interested in putting any 5.1 mixes on any of the Super Deluxe Editions. So you do get a high-res version of the remastered edition of Teaser and the Fire Cat. So you get high res stereo. And then what you get is a series of videos, which is it's actually pretty good, this Blu-ray, because you get a couple of videos. You get Cat Stevens doing the wind in 2020 on acoustic guitar. And then you get the original animated film for Moon Shadow, uh, which has been cleaned up a little bit. But then you get live in Montreux, uh, the video to that, you get him on TV. This is some of the stuff that's on the CD as well, but you get him, Cat Stevens on Yorkshire Television doing uh, seven tracks. You get two from the old Grey Whistle Test and then you get an in-concert performance. So it's actually really good, this Blu-ray. You think it might be um, a bit lacking, but they've got loads of great content on this Blu-ray. So that's the fifth and final disc. So that's the folio that goes with this slimmed down Super Deluxe Edition. And then what you get is you get a soft cover book and this book is like the classic super deluxe book that you get with the McCartney sets or, or previous Cat Stevens sets where it goes into quite a bit of detail about the record. Yeah, it's over 100 pages, this book. So it's what you'd expect. There's a foreword there by Cat Stevens himself. And then great design. Lots of words about what was going on at the time, records that were coming out, the kind of era that the record was delivered into. Yeah, really, really good content. I mean, this is what sets Super Deluxe Editions apart from the uh, cheaper, smaller editions, these kind of books. So they've got original adverts there. This is um, deals from the animated video for Teaser and the Fire Cat. And then in the middle section of the book, we get kind of like a large version of what that two CD book was like with um, focus on all the individual tracks, individual illustrations, credits, lyrics, that kind of thing. So this is a really, really good book. So this slimmed down Super Deluxe is basically this book the five discs in that folio and all that is in a an outer slip case. I think this retails for around the £80 mark and that's what they're calling the slimmed down Super Deluxe Edition. But let's take a look at the big Super Deluxe Edition that's got everything in it. So here we go. So anyone that's bought the previous Super Deluxe Editions, whether that be Teep of the Tiller Man or Mona Bone Jack On or even Back to Earth, They'll understand the packaging and recognise the packaging because it's identical. A very high quality box. It's got a it's got a magnetic flap here that folds over. But this is like the other Super Deluxe Edition. This has got an OB strip, but it it actually wraps all the way around into a backing sheet. So that's quite a nice touch. And these are numbered as well. So this is limited to five thousand units. You can see this is number three thousand two hundred and seventy five. The only thing about the numbering is it's on the bit of paper, so if you lose this backing sheet, you haven't got a, a reference to your number. We'll go through the content, so I won't bother reading out from here, but uh, there's, there's quite a lot going on, so let's take a look. So yeah, as I say, lift off, well it's not a lift off lid, it's a, a kind of open up lid. And we get two vinyl records with this particular Super Deluxe Edition. See a different colour scheme going on. That's because this is an alternate version of Teaser and the Firecat. It's got a gatefold sleeve here, so lyrics, portrait of 
Cat Stevens. And yeah, so it's it's the running order, but it's just made up of different takes. So it starts off with that 2020 version of The Wind, which I mentioned, which is on the Blu-ray in this box and in the Slim Down Super Deluxe. And then it's a series of demos, rehearsals, an extended string mix of Peace Train. Now I should point out that everything on this vinyl record is on CD somewhere in the box set. So there's nothing exclusive. So if you're worried, if, you, if you're thinking of buying the other Super Deluxe, but you think you're gonna miss out, you're not. Because everything on, on the records is on CD somewhere or other. So there you go, alternate. It's got the classic Island Records design. Polyline sleeve, of course. The last two box sets had the, uh, the new mixes on vinyl of the albums. But they can't do that this time because there is no new mix. Therefore, they've chosen to create an alternate version. So that's a little bit different from the previous box sets. The second album is a specially compiled live 1971 album. And this consists of Montreux live performances, uh, selections from the Montreux gig, and also some BBC in concert type performances. So side one is five tracks from Montreux, Hard-Headed Woman, Wild World, Lady Darbonville, Father and Son and Peace Train. And then on the other side there's six tracks from BBC In Concert, Old Grey Whistle Test and a BBC Radio Session. So it's a bit of a mix but together that kind of paints a picture of what was going on in 1971 from a live performance uh, point of view. So they're the two records. It does come with one of these ribbons, this box set. So this is the folio like in the previous Super Deluxe, except this is a six panel folio, not a four panel. So you get exactly the same five optical discs there, four CDs and the same Blu-ray, so all that's identical. Uh, the extra thing you get here is a seven inch single. So this is Moon Shadow. And the B-side is uh, the narration by Spike Milligan from the teaser and the fire cat video. So as you can see, moon shadow on that side and then the narration on the other side. So that's the extra thing that you get here. Another extra you get, which isn't in the other Super Deluxe, is the teaser and the fire cat book, which um, contains a story. It's all by Cat Stevens, illustrations and story by Cat Stevens. This was published in the early 70s and has been out of print for a long time, but it tells the story of a little boy who tries to push the moon back up into the sky. You can see there it's, uh, there's a multitude of languages and translations there on each page. So that's quite nice. It's sort of the perfect thing to include in the Super Deluxe Edition box set. Finally, what we get at the bottom is we get the same book as in the previous Super Deluxe, but this time we get a hardback version. So that's the that's the difference there. Um, nice, really nice quality. Same content, exactly the same content, but it's in a hardback setting. So it's the same 100 plus pages, same content here as you can see. Simply that it's a hard cover book this time around. So that's the final piece of the jigsaw in this super deluxe edition. So I'm gonna put everything back there. So that's the hard cover book. That's the teaser and the Firecat soft cover book. There's the folio with the five optical discs and the seven inch single. We've got the live in 1971 vinyl record. And then we've got the teaser and the Firecat alternate version. So that goes on the top there. You close the lid and that is the super, super deluxe not the slim down super deluxe of teaser and the fire cat it's very weighty um, but i think if you've got the first two especially first two albums from the 70s mona bone jack on and t for the tiller man and then this they all get they go together well don't they there's three records so i think if you've got the first two you, you kind of have to get this really don't you so i hope you've enjoyed this look at teaser and the fire cat the 50th anniversary edition of Cat Stevens' 1971 album. If you have, why not subscribe to the SDE YouTube channel for more great physical music unboxed. Keep holding the music in your hands. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.